You're going to find out, how much do you really need to walk to lose weight? Before we get started, if you'd like to know how I personally lost over 20 pounds over the last few months click the link in the description below. Now. People interested in walking for weight loss should consistently hit at least 10,000 steps each day. Some people may even want to increase their total number of steps beyond this amount. However, any steps that a person takes beyond their normal daily step count can help them lose weight. Can you lose belly fat by walking? While any exercise can burn calories, brisk walking for 45 minutes mobilizes the body to dip into fat reserves and burn stored fat. It's especially effective for burning internal belly fat, known as visceral fat, that not only contributes to the waistline but also raises the risk for diabetes and heart disease. Regardless of age or fitness level, a dedicated walking program coupled with proper nutrition can be an excellent way to lose weight. To do it right and reach your goals, you'll need to make sure you're walking far enough, at the right intensity and paying attention to your diet. Here's what you need to know and how to get started. Walking Duration and Weight Loss According to the American College of Sports Medicine ACSM, individuals should aim to participate in a minimum of 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per day or 150 minutes per week. While this can help you get on track in terms of cardiovascular fitness and combating other health conditions, if you're looking to lose weight, you'll probably want to do a little more. For individuals who are obese and trying to lose weight, or anyone looking to keep the weight off, the ACSM recommends bumping this number up to 200 to 300 minutes per week 3.3 to 5 hours. Breaking this down, a 1-hour walk 4 to 5 days per week will be sufficient to achieve your weight loss goals. Any additional time you spend exercising on top of this adds to your overall calorie burn and fitness level. Walking Intensity not all walks are created equal. It's important to make sure your heart rate reaches a moderate intensity level during your walk. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, moderate intensity exercise is defined as an activity that raises the heart rate to 50 to 70 percent of your maximum heart rate. If you decide to up the intensity, either by adding resistance training in the form of weights or including short periods of running, Exercising at a vigorous activity level, 70 to 85% of your maximum heart rate, requires the duration of your walk to be cut in half to achieve the same benefits. In other words, a 60-minute moderate intensity walk is the same as a 30-minute walk run at a vigorous intensity level. The most accurate way to measure intensity level is to use a heart rate monitor, but you can also keep track of perceived exertion. On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 is sitting, 10 is the highest exertion possible, moderate intensity is a 5 to 6, and vigorous activity begins at 7. How walking compares to running. Walking can provide many of the same health benefits as running, and comes with a lower risk of injury. However, when it comes to weight loss, the duration is key for folks who prefer walking. According to the American Council of Exercise ACE, a 150-pound runner burns 340 calories on a 3-mile run when averaging a 10-minute mile for a 30-minute run. This averages out to about 11.3 calories per minute. On the other hand, a 150-pound walker exercising at a moderate pace of 3 miles per hour burns 224 calories during a 3-mile walk 60 minutes total. This averages out to 3.7 calories per minute. While this shows running is, indeed, a more efficient activity for burning calories, if you walk longer you can make up the difference. In the example above, you'd need to walk for about 1 hour and 30 minutes, or roughly 4.5 miles, to achieve the same calorie burn as a 3-mile run. Tracking Meals Calculating and recording your daily steps, mileage, time and exercise intensity is all important when you're trying to lose weight. But the last part of the equation, nutrition, is equally crucial. Logging your food intake with MyFitnessPal as well as your workouts can help you get a more accurate picture of the quantity and types of foods you're consuming. That way you can make informed decisions regarding smarter portion sizes and where you can cut excess calories to find a healthy deficit that allows you to lose weight and keep it off. Start by walking a little more than you normally do each day until you can do an hour or more 4-5 to five times per week. 
If you keep to a brisk pace and pay attention to your nutrition, you'll set yourself up for effective weight loss. How many miles a day should I walk to lose weight? So, in order to lose one pound a week, a healthy goal, according to experts, you'd need to burn 500 calories a day. That means you should aim for about 10,000 steps a day, which is the equivalent of 5 miles. Can I lose weight by walking 30 minutes every day? Physical activity, such as walking, is important for weight control because it helps you burn calories. If you add 30 minutes of brisk walking to your daily routine, you could burn about 150 more calories a day. Once you've lost weight, exercise is even more important, it's what helps keep the weight off. How many steps should you take a day to lose 2 pounds a week? Your plan, first, determine how much weight you wish to lose, then, do a little math. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics recommends slow weight loss for lasting results, usually 1 half pound to 1 pound per week. Completing an extra 10,000 steps each day typically burns about 2,000 to 3,500 extra calories each week. Does walking one hour a day help lose weight? Walking one hour each day can help you burn calories and, in turn, lose weight. In one study, 11 moderate weight women lost an average of 17 pounds 7 .7 kilograms, or 10% of their initial body weight, after six months of brisk daily walking. Does walking tone your butt? While walking is a great form of exercise to burn calories and strengthen your heart, it does not overload the glute muscles enough to cause hypertrophy, aka muscle growth, Tom told Popsugar. And yes, that applies to the go-to strategy of squeezing your glutes on every step. How much do I have to walk a day to lose 10 pounds? Lose 10 pounds with the no deprivation diet. For maximum fat burn, aim for 30 minutes at power walk intensity 3 days a week, see the walking plan on the next page. That time can be completed all at once, or you can break it up into spurts with recovery strides, stroll or brisk walk, in between. Is walking every day enough exercise? If you can walk independently and maintain a speed of 4 to 6 km per hour for half an hour per day, then walking is sufficient exercise. Walking needs to sustain your interest in the long term. Walking can protect against chronic diseases, and there is less risk of injury compared to other forms of exercise. Is walking 30 minutes a day enough exercise? Walking is a great way to improve or maintain your overall health. Just 30 minutes every day can increase cardiovascular fitness, strengthen bones, reduce excess body fat, and boost muscle power and endurance. Is walking better than running? Walking can provide a lot of the same benefits of running. But running burns nearly double the number of calories as walking. Dot dot dot. You need to burn approximately 3,500 calories to lose one pound. If your goal is to lose weight, running is a better choice than walking. Can I lose weight by walking 60 minutes every day? A good brisk walking workout will result in you breathing harder than usual. That is a good sign that you are getting into the fat burning heart rate zone. Dot dot dot. Then walk at a brisk pace for 30 to 60 minutes to get your body to burn some of the fat you want to lose. How long does it take to see results from walking every day? Significant weight loss and muscle gains will take approximately 8 weeks to see, however, even though you're not seeing muscle definition, the benefits going on in your body and mind are considerable. Your clothes will fit better, your posture will be better and you'll walk taller. Is it better to walk or run to lose belly fat? So, exercising not only helps you to reduce belly fat, it also sheds fat from other areas. Running and walking are two of the best fat-burning exercises. Dot dot dot. Between the two, running burns more calories, but walking really isn't too far behind. What muscles are toned by walking? Walking burns calories and boosts fitness, plus it tones your thighs, calves and bum. Not only that, but by strengthening your, core, muscles in your tummy and back, brisk walking also flattens a pot belly and, if you swing your arms, it'll blitz your bingo wings. Can I get fit by walking? Walking is also a good cardiovascular exercise, especially if you're able to maintain a brisk pace. It causes your large muscles and heart to work hard, which will gradually make your heart stronger and more efficient. Frequent walking helps to build lower body strength, an incredibly important factor of good balance. What is a good distance to walk every day? 
The average American walks 3,000 to 4,000 steps a day, or roughly 1.5 to 2 miles. It's a good idea to find out how many steps a day you walk now, as your own baseline. Then you can work up toward the goal of 10,000 steps by aiming to add 1,000 extra steps a day every two weeks. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more and click the link in the description below to learn about an amazing weight loss program.